All right, guys, for today's lesson, our objective is I can solve real-world problems involving algebraic expressions. Looking at number one, it says Emma has Y books. Matthew has three times as many books as Emma. Matthew buys another seven more books. So the very first thing when dealing with, with real-world problems, we want to highlight all the key components. So we know that Emma has Y books. So we're going to highlight that because that's really important. It says Matthew has three times as many books as Emma. So then we're going to highlight that as well. And then it says Matthew buys seven more books. So those are all of our key components. Looking at part A, it says how many more books does Matthew have than Emma? Give your answer in terms of why in the simplest form. So we are gonna create just a box diagram to help us solve this. So if we know Emma has Y books, we're just gonna represent this box as Y. Well, we know that Matthew has three times however many books Emma has. So we're gonna split that into three. So however many books Emma has. And then he bought an additional seven more. So all key components for, so we know that they bought, that Emma bought one or bought Y books and Matthew bought an addition times, three times however many books that she bought plus an additional seven. So looking at this information, we can write an equation, an algebraic expression. So we know that Emma at least bought one book right here. So we are going to write this. We're trying to find out how much Matthew has than Emma. So this is all the mystery right here that we are trying to solve. So it would be 2 because there's two y's times y because y is how much, how many books Emma bought plus 7 because he bought an additional 7 more books. And this would be our first answer for part A. Looking at part B, it says if Emma has 25 books, so she has 25 books now, now we know the value of Y, how many more books does Matthew have than Emma? So we're still trying to find out how many books does Matthew have than Emma. So if we know that Matthew, that Emma has 25 books, so now we can substitute that in for Y, Y equals 25. So now we have 2 times y plus 7. And now we have, since we know the value of y, it would be 2 times 25 plus 7. And 2 times 25 equals 50 plus 7 equals 57. So Matthew had 57 more books than Emma because she had 25 books. Looking at number two, it says some children, some adult and children are watching a musical. There are N children. There are 25, there are 25 fewer adults than children. So when reading an, a real world problem, we always wanna make sure we highlight the key components. So we know that there are N children and that there are 25 fewer adults than children. So looking at part A, it says find the number of children in terms of N. So our question we're trying to solve is the number of adults in terms of N. So we would write this. So we know that N represents children. So we're gonna write N equals children. And 25 is the adults. And the key word we have here, which we highlighted, was fewer. We want to make sure we keep that in mind. So when we write our equation, our algebraic expression, it would be n, because there were n children, and there are 25 fewer. Fewer means less than. So 25 less adults than there were children. 
and that would be our answer for number for part A. And now it says in part B, if there are 124 children, how many adults are there? So now we know what the value of n is. So all we're going to do is we're going to do n equals 124. Our original expression, algebraic expression, was n minus 25. And now we know the value of n, so we're going to substitute that in. So 124 minus 25. And now all we have to do is subtract. So 124 minus 25 equals 99. And that would be our final answer for part B. Let's practice some questions looking at number one. It says Owen makes M dollars and Lucas has 25 more dollars. So if we know Owen has M dollars and Lucas has 25 more dollars, remember more is our key word. It says find the total amount of money in terms of M. Find the total amount of money in terms of M. So we know that there are two boys. We have Owen plus Lucas. So that's two boys. We know Owen makes M dollars. And however much Owen makes, Lucas makes 25 more. And we're trying to find out find the total amount of money in terms of M. So we're not finding Lucas, we're not finding Owen, we want to find the total amount of money. So now that we know this information right over here that we've written out, we just got to write an algebraic expression. So we know that there are two boys and they both make M dollars. And whatever, because M equals what Owen made, and whatever Owen made, Lucas made additional 25 more. So this would be our final answer for part A. Looking at part B, it says if M equals 35, how much money do they have in all? So we would write this. If we knew that M equals 25 now, 35, sorry. So now we, our original algebraic expression was 2 times m plus 25. Well now we can substitute the value of our variable in. So now we have 2 times 35 plus 25. And now all you have to do is multiply 2 times 35, which gives you the answer of 70 plus 25, which gives you the answer of 95. So in all, they made $95. Lastly, we are going to look at number two practice. It says Jose bought four comic books and two nonfiction books. So the four comic books cost him eight Y dollars. If the cost of one nonfiction book is three plus seven Y dollars more than the cost of one comic book, find, and then it says in part A, the total cost of non, of the two nonfiction books in terms of Y. So looking at the first half of the question, we are going to highlight all of the important components. So we know Jose bought four comic books and two nonfiction books. That's very important to keep in mind. And then it says that the four comic books cost him eight Y dollars. So we know that all four of his comic books cost him eight Y dollars. And it says if the cost of one nonfiction book 
is seven plus three plus seven y dollars more than the cost of one comic book. So now that we know that this is the co the cost of the two nonfiction books in uh, in terms of y. So we want to know the cost of two nonfiction books in terms of y. Well, if we know that the cost of one nonfiction book is three plus seven y. This is for one nonfiction book. And we want to know the cost of two nonfiction books. So we are going to learn what we worked on last week and we're going to use the expanding method. So we are going to do two parentheses three plus seven y and the two came from because we're trying to solve how much it is for two nonfiction books. So now that we know this information, we would multiply two times three and two times seven y, which would give us the answer of six plus 14 y. And that would be our final answer for part A because they want to know it in terms of y. Lastly, looking at part B, it says the total amount that Jose spent in books if y equals four. Well, now we know the value of four of y is four. So this is important to keep. And if we knew that his four comic books, comic books, we're gonna write C equaled four y, because remember said that all four comics books cost him eight y. And we now know that the cost of his two nonfiction books. So we're going to do two nonfiction books. We solved over here was six plus 14 Y. We're going to split this up into two different problems. So we're going to first insert eight Y and we're going to substitute four in. So eight times four. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to substitute y, our variable, our value in for our variable for 6 plus 14y. So for the first 8 plus 8 times 4 gives us the answer of 32. And it's positive. So we're going to continue adding because this one's also positive. And then if we insert 6 plus 14 times 4. Remember, our value of our variable is 4. Now we just have to do 14 times 4 equals 56. And now we have 6 plus 56. Now we just have to add 6 plus 56. Gives us the answer of 62. And now we just have to add 32 and 62 together, which gives us the answer of 94. So he spent $94 on his comic books. So remember, when dealing with real world problems, it's always important to find the key components of all of the questions.